Hello friends, welcome to the Take Better Photos channel. In our last video, we showed you how to remove unsightly power lines and wires with Affinity Photo. And this time we're going to be doing the same thing, but with Pixelmator Pro. If you prefer Pixelmator, I think you're going to find that Pixelmator has some excellent tools for removing unsightly wires. Do stick around till the end as I'm going to tell you which one I think is better for wire removal or object removal in general. Affinity Photo or Pixelmator Pro. So let's begin removing wires, starting with the Repair tool. The Repair tool removes an object from an image. It takes parts of the surrounding areas and intelligently stitches them together, matching the colors, textures, lightings, to seamlessly recreate the area of the image left behind after removing an object. So this is the equivalent of the in painting tool. The shortcut key for the Repair tool is R, so let's begin using the repair tool. Simply make sure that the repair tool is clicked on the right toolbar. As you can see here, the repair tool has no settings to speak of, which is perfectly fine as the tool works great out of the box. Just like with Affinity Photo, I would recommend adjusting the brush size if the repair tool does not work as expected. However, when removing the wires for this video, I didn't have to make any adjustments whatsoever. The repair tool worked just fine. That goes for small objects or larger objects. However, in some cases, the repair tool might not work. Like in this particular case, the repair tool was having difficulty removing the wires. As mentioned, you can try improving the result by adjusting the brush size, or alternatively, you can try its second tool, which is called the clone tool. So let's now move on to the clone tool. The clone tool copies part of an image from one area to another. Just like the repair tool, it is brush based. With the clone tool, you choose a clone source and then use the clone brush to paint the source area in a new part of your image. The shortcut key for the clone tool is letter O. Now, unlike the repair tool, which has pretty much no settings, the clone tool has a softness setting which changes the softness of the edges of the brush. With softer edges, the outer source areas will usually blend in better with the areas you paint over. You can also fix the source position. The source stays fixed in its original position with each new brush stroke. For this video though, I did not change the softness or the fixed source position setting. I found the default settings quite satisfactory. So let's now use the clone tool here. Unlike the repair tool, which works with one step, you just simply have to brush the object. The clone tool works in two steps. First, you need to specify the source point, which will be used to replace the target. To set the source point, you simply have to option click on that point. Once you have specified the source point, the next step is to specify the target point by clicking on it. The target is where the source image will be pasted. One setting though that I would recommend you turn off is the source marker. That is the big circle widget that appears once you option click on a point. I turn it off because it sometimes blocks the target area, particularly when the source and target are in close proximity to each other. So now let's look at the comparison. This is the before and the after before and the after. So there you have it. That's how you remove wires with Pixelmator Pro. However, let me answer the final question. Which one do I prefer for removing power lines and wires? Pixelmator Pro or Affinity Photo? In my experience, both of these tools work comparably. I found the speed and interface are quite equivalent. And if you watched both of my videos, you would see that quite clearly. The only advantage of Affinity Photo over Pixelmator Pro is it does allow you to rotate and scale the source image. And that goes for its healing tool, its patch tool, as well as its clone tool. That is something that Pixelmator Pro, as far as I'm aware, does not support. So if you encounter a case where you think you need to rotate the source image using a clone tool, for example, then only in that case will I recommend Affinity Photo. Other than that, both tools are equivalent and I think you're going to get pretty much the same experience out of both of them. 
So I hope you found this video helpful. And if you like this type of content, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.